Portable computing devices and cell phones are great, but they're lacking one huge ability, the ability to print. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick workaround hack that will allow you to print from almost any mobile device. Now that we can access the web from anywhere, anytime we want, the next step is to be able to print anywhere, anytime we want. Google's been working on a method of doing this, but so far nothing yet has come to light. So here's a quick and dirty way to do it without having to wait on the search giant that's bent on taking over the world. The piece of software that makes this work is Dropbox, so you're going to need to have that installed both on the device that you want to print from and the computer that has the printer attached. There's ways to do this on Windows, Mac, and Linux, so I'm going to touch on those methods a little bit later on. First off, you want to put Dropbox on your mobile device. The basic Dropbox account is free, and that's all that we'll need. So if you go to Dropbox.com and click on Mobile, you'll see that it's available for iPad, iPhone, Android, and Blackberry. If you have a Windows mobile phone, you can use Dropbox, which you can find here, because it's a pretty close alternative. Next, go to the computer that has the printer attached and install Dropbox also. Now here's where the magic happens. If you use Windows, tech blogger Armit Anwal has written a VBS script which you can download from here. It creates a folder in Dropbox called PrintQ and it watches the PrintQ folder and prints whatever is put inside it, and then it moves it to the log folder. To ensure that this script starts up whenever you restart your computer, you want to go ahead and put it in your startup folder like this. If you have Linux, you want to manually create the print queue folder in Dropbox and then make a bash script containing these lines to check the print queue folder for any new files and then send them to the printer. Then you want to set a cron job to run the script every minute or so. So open up a terminal, type cron tab dash e, and under the first line type 01 star 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 star, and then type in the file path to your bash script. Lastly, if you have a Mac, you want to, again, manually create the print queue folder in Dropbox and then open up Automator. From the Folder Action drop-down menu, select your Dropbox print queue folder. Now search for Print Finder Item and drag it to the workflow. Then search for Move Finder Items to Trash and drag that to the workflow as well. Now, after you save it, anything that's put into the print queue folder will be sent to the printer and then moved to the trash. After your computer is set, you're ready to start printing. Using your mobile device, just upload or save a file to the Dropbox Print Queue folder and it should start printing automatically from anywhere, so long as your home computer and printer are both on. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.